With just five minutes of scavenge time left, Jem and Geraint check out how their teams are getting on. Ah, oh, Big G! Ah! Check this puppy out! That looks good. It's looking good for the red team, as they found a potential fan in a huge ventilation pipe. But how's Seth going to carry that around? The thing is, I thought they'd be able to carry more stuff at one time. You are! I've got a nozzle! <laughs> it does look like a right said video. <laughs> the red team finds some olive oil, but with just three minutes of scavenge time left, the green team still don't have any hair dryers. It's the hair dryers we need, though, isn't it? Rough fan. Cool. Got a low voltage lucky light. <laughs> Jem's prayers are answered as Craig finds his first hair dryer. Go. While the beefy green team bring back tiny fans, the red team still go big and winch across an industrial cooling fan. Clearly, they think that size does matter. I think all your fingers will burn off if you use that. The green team find their ducting attached to an old cooker extractor fan. That's proper radioactive, that. Oh, good effort on the hair dryers. Is there... All right, that one looks, that one looks spot yeah. on. Is there a yeah. one? And there's another gel battery for you. Oh, fantastic. And then there's nice. some baby oil later on. You can rub me down if that's OK. Yeah, we'll see how that works out, yeah? Yeah. Just going to see if it's got any charged up. Yep. Scavenge time is running out. <laughs> OK, your time is up. Scavenge is over. Griff, Sess, oh. chill. This way. Cool, boys. Cool. Hands and arms are heavily laden with stuff. Craig, did you find everything you wanted? Everything and more. Sass, you find everything you wanted? Yeah, we've we done pretty well, actually. With what you have, can you build a superhero? We can build anything, especially a superhero. Sass? Um, uh, to be honest, I think we will be able to create a superhero. OK, teams, it is time to start construction. Join me after the break, when it's all good for style conscious Sess as he starts designing his costume. But I think for you, I'd really like to go traditional comic book superhero. Yeah, yeah that sounds you brilliant. Like that it. sounds brilliant. Yeah, see and it's all bad for the bouncer Craig as his plan goes disastrously wrong. That has got to be a monumental screw-up. This is Zero to Hero where two ordinary human beings transform themselves into superheroes and compete to be tonight's champion. Tonight our challengers have just two minutes to rescue two hostages from a gas-filled chamber of poison, while the evil nemesis shows them what she's got. Whoever completes the mission in the fastest time wins. With the scavenge just finished, the green team, who are planning to use hair dryers and a water spray filter to clear the chamber of gas, have already got a possible solution with the seven hair dryers they found. Craig and the Jolly Green Giants. Show me what you did find down there. That's the retention. They found a metal toolbox and intend to mount the hair dryers and water filter in it. But will it work? Can you show me on the board what you're going to build? Yeah, no problem. This is the side of your box. As you're looking at it from there, your straps are going to go there, and that's going to be where I'm standing. Right. Inside the door, you're going to have a series of fans that's going to be ducted in. The fans are then going to blow the smoky air inside the unit. Yeah. The other part of their plan is to make a water curtain that takes the smoke particles out of the air. So the smoke's actually going to be caught up inside the water curtain yeah. and taken down so the, the sediment is going to be collected into the bottom of the tank. That is going to be a purification system. So basically, dirty air in through the fans, cleaned by the water, held in the water in the bottom of the tank, clean air out, everybody's happy. The red team's starting clue was a handheld fan, but now they've decided to go big and use a huge fan instead of lots of little ones. But we're going to have a starting from the beginning. The red team are going to take their one big fan and use it to pull smoke in through their ducting into a material filter. As the smoke particles are drawn through the tight-knit fibers of the material, they're going to get trapped and filtered out of the air. They'll also soak the filter in olive oil, which means the smoke particles will stick to the oily film on the fibers. All right. Yeah. Make him into a super being. Yeah. 
Both teams have a chance to test elements of their equipment in a mini chamber of gas at the halfway stage of the build in the test zone. The green team have sewn open a hairdryer to get to the fan and are connecting it up to a powerful battery to see if it still works. Do you want to... All right, I'll do it. Yeah. Do you want to hold? Yeah, no problem. Bang! Yeah! <laughs> That's it. All right. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's fantastic, that. Over in the size-loving red zone, the team are taking a big extractor fan out of the ventilation piping. But Sess is more interested in a pair of tights that he finds. I think these belong to the other team as well, right? <laughs> the tights, yeah. Yeah, I think they forgot them. And this nice pink bit of rope, that'd be nice for them as well. The hairdryer fan works, but the chamber must be cleared of smoke quickly. So the bouncers time how long it takes to fill a bin bag with air to work out how fast the fan could clear the chamber of smoke. Three. Yeah, we've got our one fan. We're going to like power it up and see how long it takes to fill it. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off. Look at that. Keep going, keep going. See you when. That's just like my bicep on training. I'll see you when you time it. Yeah? Right, full. that's pretty much full. Right, that took three seconds. Three seconds for that much air. Are you sure? It took longer yeah. than that. Took longer than that. I reckon that took longer than three I seconds. Oh. Can you tell us? Four hours. The one tiny fan is not shifting much air. Will using the seven they have scavenged all together be any more effective? Only time will tell. On Zero to Hero, our contestants must also come up with a name and a look for their brand new superheroes. To help them, we have two experts, Staz and Venetia. Staz has worked for DC and Marvel Comics, and Venetia is the queen of Lycra. Sess is first to meet them. First of all, though, I think that most people, when they see superhero movies, all these guys are in black, and everybody wants to go black. But I think for you, I'd really like to go traditional comic book superhero. Yeah. Lots of colour. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds You're brilliant. Like that it. sounds brilliant. Right, well, Definitely. Be... I wasn't sure about legs, though. I was thinking of if we could make it a little bit funky, a little right. bit, you know, um, looser with the flary type. Say, well, I see you've got some flares. You, you mean, you fancy going for flares? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that would work quite well, I think, because if you can see on this other one, I mean, I know that's that's yellow and not what you're saying, red, yeah, but, yeah, but we've got this, like, this wing thing. And if you've got... Having said that, though, well, Elvis in Vegas, <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah. So uh, I've, I've got some. Both contestants stuff. must also incorporate a gas mask into their costume for safety reasons. All oh, right. What do you think? Okay. I like the idea of that. I never, I never thought of that. Might be a bit restricting, and but, we're not going to see much of your face, but which is a shame because yeah. you're a good looking guy. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. <laughs> Next, Sess sees Venetia, who's going to make his outfit. Have you thought of a name, Sess, for your superhero? Thinking maybe oh. like um, Locust. Oh, um, Locust! You know. Oh, yeah, yes! Yeah, so we like that. It's all tied together oh, pretty fantastic. well. Fantastic, Locust. We like that. Well, that, that, is, that is sort of what direction we're going. Yeah. Well, you see, how do you find a bit of this? Wow! I don't know, look at it. Ooh, that is excellent. When you move around. That really. And a bit of red, like that, because if we maybe make your front a bit like um, a fly armour, you know, all the sections yeah, of the yeah, front. Yeah, 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 it does sound really good. Having taken their one big fan out of the ventilation chimney, the red team have rewired it and put it in a new casing. Now it's the moment of truth. Will it work? Oh, we've got a lot Certainly quiet. Right now. Oh yeah, that's it. It's designed to go one way. It's trying to fall out of the cage, actually. Is it right? Does it work well? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's good, good, that is. Where was the other one? We've got two. It's all very well having such a big fan, but where's Sess going to strap it on? Well, I know what I'm thinking, yeah? Yeah? Strap the fan right here, like a massive codpiece. You've got, you've got some confidence. <laughs> right. And you, I go, right. No. <laughs> As it's just star, star, star with you guys. Craig goes in to see Staz and Venetia. Craig, welcome. Staz, how are you doing, mate? Um, when I first saw you, the first thing I thought was big guy, Arnie, Terminator. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? You, like you, it. You like that idea. Yeah. So, these, like, you know, it's like, it's like biker leather. Um, and but like a bit torn and stuff, so, so it, you know how when turn rough, it is, and, rough and ready, into you like motocross type things with big plates, big sort of shiny metal plates. Yeah, cool, I like that. Sick and twisted, basically. Right, biker boots, it is then. Yeah, okay. 